welcome to my boudoir. And I have a nice window here. And we're going to continue along with aging successfully, but this time I'm going to show you the things that make my life easier, what I usually buy or what I have on hand. And I've had this for 20 years. My makeup mirror, I really love it. It's lit and it's magnified. Sometimes you don't want to really see what shows up in here, but it's necessary, especially one day in one of my videos, I noticed one of my little chinny chin chin hairs showing and I was shocked. I asked my daughter, can you see that on your 60 inch television? And of course she said no, but I saw it on my tiny little 36 inch one. I do need the magnifying mirror and this is wonderful. I think you can get it in Bath and Body, maybe $30, something like that, but it's well worth it. I know a lot of people don't want to really see what's in there, Woo! but it's necessary. So we can't do without that. I have a, a nice collection of brushes. I'm going to suggest that maybe Rockstar Mom do a video on brushes. I have found myself, believe it or not, using some of my painting brushes, which I keep out in the living room, and sometimes they wander in here and what day I found, actually I was doing a beauty tutorial and I found that I was putting something on with one of my painting brushes, very embarrassing. But I would like to know, Rockstar Patty, which, which is the blush brush? Which is the foundation brush? Here's my little ones, which is the eye brush? Wouldn't that make a great video? Please do it and I will watch and I'm sure a lot of people will watch too. SD stopped making this particular one. She still does something called SD, but it is not the same. And I started wearing this, gosh, back when we were living in Scotland, whoops, in the late 1960s. Uh, it's her brand, her branding name, SD. And for the last five or six years, I have had to buy this on eBay, being robbed. But my kids and my grandkids say, Nanny, you wouldn't be nanny, you wouldn't be mom if you didn't wear this. So, that I must wear. My Nivea. Nivea cream is what I discovered when I was in my early 30s. It's that nice, greasy cream. And I put it on my face many times, my whole body. And it is the foundation to any makeup I might use. I don't use makeup too often. But when I do, I have to put that on. Also my serums, I've discovered these from these wonderful ladies of the beauty community, Rockstar Mom and Little Poet, Mary Ellen and Sandra Hart. So many of those wonderful ladies that give me good suggestions. I have some retinol oil or serum. I have some hyaluronic acid oil. And I did have the collagen, but I, I used up my collagen. This one is, you know what? Aging successfully is great if you get your eyes fixed, but right now I'm still using glasses. Here's my collagen, but the one in there I think is the retinol oil. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the vitamin C. This is the retinol oil. So those are my minimum things that make putting on makeup when I need to put it on especially for tutorials and videos. That's what I use. So thank you ladies, those wonderful beauty community ladies for helping me in this area. I'm not very proficient in the makeup. I did a, a beauty tutorial uh, and the results were hysterical. I had stuff up here. I loved the comment that Mary Ellen of, what is it, Mary Ellen over 60 uh, did about her tail. And she called this little part of the eyebrow that goes down the tail. And um, I have to fill in my tail. And I also have to fill in the little parts here because like everything, when you get older and I'm 83, it either disappears or packs on. One good thing though, I do have the small boobies and that helps me look a little bit thinner. I also do not have a butt. And I'll tell you about that. My daughter was very upset that neither my husband nor myself had nice bubble butts like you see on some of these young girls. But 
the girls all said, why didn't you, why Ma, did you marry a guy with a, with a bubble butt? Nope, and I didn't have one myself, but I think we did okay. Besides, the bubble butts go real fast when you start to age, so. Anyway, the other thing, which I keep in the bathroom, and that is my little foot spa. It's not a fancy one, it doesn't whirlpool. It's just something to soak my feet in. I am a diabetic and I do work in the garden all the time in my clogs, some my summer clogs, which have holes in the tops. And my feet get muddy and dirty and I have to keep my feet clean being a diabetic. So I can't live without that. That makes my life easier. Now I'm back in the boudoir again. I've been outside filming in the garden. And as you can see, I'm all perspiry again and red. One of my problems being out in the sun and wet. I mentioned about my little whirlpool bath for my feet, but I didn't mention two of the other bathroom accessories that are really important for making life easier as you're aging. Number one, we just got a brand new toilet. Our son-in-law, Barry, took care of that for us. We have great kids and great in-laws, kids of the kids. And he bought the nice high toilet seat one and it has dual injection waters and it swirls around and cleans the bowl and the other water pipe goes in and gets all the little bombers to flush and everything. It's wonderful, we love it. Saves me watching the toilet too. I think I do have to put something in once in a while. Um, what else? Oh, the handrails. You know, sometimes I visit our kids and they have these little toilets close to the floor. And I'll get down, I'll sit on a toilet, and, and then it's time to get up. And I tell you, I've told you I'm active, but sometimes you try and you look around for something to grab onto, push on a wall or something. And a couple of times I've been in some houses where the toilets were so low, I kid you not, I could hardly get up and I was about ready to scream, but thank God the thigh muscles in the end took over and I made it. Same thing happened in a tub in a hotel. Bill and I were having a little cozy weekend about a year or two ago in a hotel and he was playing poker and I decided to have a, a me time. So I filled up the tub, hadn't been in a tub. We don't have a tub here. And I filled up the tub, soapy water and got in and oh, I laid there, I had so much fun. And then it was time to get out. Do you know, I could hardly get out of that tub. I didn't realize that being down on the floor like that was, was really not good for me. I tried to get up on my knees and finally got to the point where I could hang on to the tub. It wasn't getting over it. It was getting up from the bottom to a point where I could get on my knees and then stand. I'm telling you. Aging is the pits, but you know what? You figure out a way. I didn't have to scream that time. That, I think, is it in the beauty department. Now we'll probably talk about the other things that make life easier. Just living with Moose and I in the house, a few things in the kitchen, and a few things in the living room. And then I have my things outside for the garden and also really good, good suggestions for the car. And my best and most favorite helper of all is my sweet hubby, Moose, who's my dishwasher and many other things besides. We don't have a dishwasher, so he helped. Well, we had dishwashers when I was in the army. Tanker, <laughs> we had dishwashers. We were in Burma. I shan't forget the time when I bullet came, my belt plate should have been Never mind, that's good. Oh, you're doing uh, that's Gunga Dean. You Gunga Dean, me. yeah, which he recites very right. well. Never mind, I don't do much in this damn house, but I love to do the dishes. Well, he has, <laughs> well, he is a great help. He does what he can. He has some mobility issues, but what the heck, we're happy. We managed to do a ton of stuff, have some great adventures, and he is a big help. And the dishes, as I always. You <laughs> no, you do it without being told. Thank you. I love you, Moose. I love you too, Mo Moose. What's your name? Moose. <laughs> uh, kitchen cooking helpers. I love some of these frozen dinners. One I picked up yesterday, mushroom 
tortellini, which we might have tonight. It's organic, it's somewhat healthy. I got it in sprouts. And I have several in here. Matthew keeps picking up things for me, but right now my freezer is jammed. We love dumplings and um, we have some orange chicken in here. Uh, I use these frozen berries for smoothies and put on our yogurt. And what's down here? Oh, I love these dumplings. Actually, we prefer the vegetable ones. As you can see, I'm back in the trunk of my van. Two reasons. Number one, it still is in the high 90s, approaching 100, and it's nice and shady outside. But I know I've done a couple of videos from here, and I've noticed that I look good from here. It's good lighting, so always got to seek the good lighting. Now, look at this tool. I have trouble watching the windows. I have to park my car outside, and the sap from the eucalyptus trees or whatever overhead, sticky stuff get on. And every time we go to get in the car, I have to hop out again and wash my windows. You, you get these things, you know, to use on your car in the gas station. But I have a big long handle that has two extra things. Now I can add one here, which makes me be able to reach in and they just screw on. And I, I can reach all across the front windshield you know, the ones in the gas station, nice and tight. And it even has one more extension, which, oh, I put the wrong one on. This is the handle, but I could put this in here and it extends it out, I bet six feet, which means you could use it for your houses if you have uh, higher windows. This is wonderful. I ordered it on Amazon. I think I paid $16 for it. So this is a tool that helps me, makes my life easier when we drive and I don't have to keep running around and it does get the inside, the middle of that front windshield. The other thing I ordered the same day, and I've had these for about a week or two, and I had this on the outside front of my car. I think I showed it to you in one of my other videos. And this is a lifesaver. This is fabulous. It's a quilted silver thing that performs several jobs. It keeps the heat out of the car. Back east, it would keep the snow. This, now this is meant for the outside of the windshield, front windshield. And they have them in different sizes. This one fits my van perfectly. And I only paid $16.95 for this. It has magnets that help hold it down. It has straps that go hook around your, um, those little extension windows on the outside of your car and it is wonderful I had it on all week long bill and i got the car yesterday to go do some errands and believe it or not the windshield was perfect so that has saved me at least for the windshield with this app now it's another story for the side of the car it was this sticky sap that i had to clean the windows on the one side of the car comes in a nice little bag with a little zipper and you can keep it there when you're not using it. This magnificent tool is the most wonderful tool for people as they age. You don't have to be infirm or handicapped to use it. And what you do is you stick it in, I'm on the passenger side right now. You put it into a little hook that is on every single car. And when you get in a car, you open the door you lean on it and it is the most wonderful tool to help people who are somewhat immobile or gee, once you get to your late 60s, 70s and up there, you have trouble getting in and out of a car. And this just makes people feel more secure. But it also is an all-in-one tool. It has a seatbelt cutter down here. If you get in an accident, you have to cut it. It also uh, will break a window. It acts like a hammer. So everybody should have one of these in your car, whether you're old or let's say you break a leg, God forbid, or something happens and you need it. Get one of these, you order them on Amazon. I think it's $16, great tool. Speaking of the car, here's the seats for our flat butts, our no fat butts as I call them, and it just makes life easier on a long trip. I think that's it with the car. Let me check my notes. 
I have to put my glasses on again. I bet a lot of you have had those cataract surgeries. Um, my husband had cataract surgery, among other surgeries, this past year. And his vision, which used to be horrible, is really good. He hardly needs glasses at all. But I think at 83, I'm not, I'm not into that. So far, so good. Okay, um, that's it with the car, I think. Oh, my clogs. You know, I've talked about clogs before. And I love my clogs. They're rubber clogs for gardening. In fact, I even wear them in the house and most of the day I have several colors. It's my fashion statement. I have yellow ones. I think I showed you those in another video. I have green ones and black ones and red ones. And every time I go somewhere with them, I even go out with them when I have slacks on or, or pedal pushers. No one calls them pedal pushers anymore. What do they call them? Whatever, leggings or jeggings. And people seem to love them. I've worn them for years and years. I used to wear them when I was teaching, not the rubber ones, the regular ones. And they're great for your legs. Today I have on another pair. I spoke about the ones that have the holes in them for summer. I'm gonna lift up my leg here. Maybe you can see them. These are blue. My daughter bought them for me. And they're wonderful for summer because they have holes in the top and the front. So, now we'll head to the garden, okay? Great hints for the garden. Can you see this cart? This is one of those wheeling, I don't know whether it's a garden cart or whether it's for uh, just carting things around at a swap meet or an outdoor market, but I use it to carry my um, birdseed and my dirt for the garden, my potting soil from the car to the garden or to wherever I have to take it. Oh, so it's a wonderful, wonderful tool and has nice big wheels on it. Son Matthew has been buying our food mostly all the time for us. But before the COVID-19, I used to go and do all the food shopping. And sometimes I'd have 10 or 12 packages in the back of the van and carting them into the cottage was hard. And I discovered this one day at a thrift shop and I thought, oh boy, I'm gonna get it. I think I paid $5 for it, but I think you can buy these for around 20. Once again, Walmart. Check out the thrift shops though, but they're not always available. So this has been wonderful for carting stuff around. It definitely makes my life easier. That looks like, look at the nice big wheels. It's very easy to roll around, has uh, double front wheels, a big back wheel. It's not very hard to push at all. And you can use it anywhere. Thrift shop was a great bargain, but check it out. It's great. Okay, now we're in the garden. And I have a lot of things that make my life and I know would make your life easier. And I know you are aware of a lot of these. First thing is the sunscreen. This is very important. It's the hats. I love my hats and I have tons of different hats. <laughs> Had to wear the pigtails today. Pigtails in 83, I don't know. But my little granddaughter came down one day and saw these. these is, this is my summer hairdo because it keeps the heat off the back of my neck. And if I don't have something on the sides and no hair, I look like a skinned rat. So one day little Shannon came down, she's 13 and she said, Nanny, I love your pigtails. So guess what? I'm gonna wear pigtails all summer long, especially with the hats too. So after we do the sunscreen, we put our hats on out here in the garden. I have to show you some of my shoes. As I said, I love the rubber clogs and you can get these online. There's a couple of garden shops. I've seen them in garden stores where they sell the flowers and everything. Walmart has them, they're rubber. They can be anywhere from 15 or $20 up to 50 or 60. I have them in yellow with the matching gloves my fashion statement these days in self-isolation. What else are you gonna do? I have them in red. I love my red ones. Now I have to tell you something about these. These are also very good. If you've ever gotten fascia, plant fascia plantitis, I think it's called, or 
plantar fasciitis. That's it. And because of the high arch inside these shoes, it relieves the pain in your heels. Now, if you've ever had plantar fasciitis, it's a horrendous pain in your heel. And I have had it three or four times since I was in my 50s. And sometimes I have to get a cortisone shot, which sometimes does not help. Sometimes it does. It's just time. You take a, a baseball or a golf ball and you roll your foot with your arch back and forth. There's various other things that you can do. Sometimes people get a, a prosthetic for their foot that holds their, their foot in an upright position at night while you're sleeping. I don't know, but I know a lot of people that think that this high arch clog is good for that. And I wore them all winter long, two years ago. My husband was in a nursing home with this back operation that he had, actually it was a hip. And I used to go and visit every day and everybody remarked on my yellow and red clogs. Isn't that funny? Um, here's my summer ones. I have a blue pair on, my daughter buys these for me. And here's the summer ones with, with the uh, holes in the top. Now the arch is not as big. I wouldn't recommend these for plantar fasciitis, but, but these are great. Um, okay, so I have the gloves in all different co colors to match. Now this might seem unusual, but do you see this cane? It has, I thought it was a tripod, but it's four feet, rubber feet, and it's very, very sturdy. And of course it's meant for people that have trouble with their mobility. I use this in my garden when I have to walk into the back of the garden to feed the birds and I get up on a, a ledge to feed the birds. And at 83, although I am very mobile and very active, you have to steady yourself when you're trying to walk around plants and, and stepping stones. So if you're a gardener and you're a super ager like me, Get one of these canes. Number one, there's a lot of them in the thrift shops too, but uh, they're not expensive. I think 20, $25, but it does help with my steadiness. And in my mind, I have fallen probably five or six times in the past couple of years, real face plants. And thank God I didn't hurt myself. I don't know why. So I've tried to watch my step and watch where I'm going. All my kids tell me, be more careful, mom. And I do but I have to be in the garden so this is great okay I think that's it talked about the hats the sunscreen whatever life is so much easier if you just find these wonderful things to help you if you're uh, a senior or any any age with a bit of uh, mobility problem Try some of these aids. I won't do the living room. It's basically my, my old sofa. I have cushions on all three seats on the sofa, mainly because it's hard getting up. And if the kids are around or the grandkids, they're always pulling me up. They say it's your core or your um, hamstrings or your thighs. And I do what I can, but those pillows on the sofa help. I think maybe it's time for a nice new sofa. I'm hoping, maybe. So I have a little postscript of my wish list, my pie in the sky wish list for things that would help to make our lives easier, especially my life. And I'm gonna tell you about five of them that I came up with. Number one, if those lovely beauty tutorial ladies, Patty and Mary Ellen and Susie, the little poet and Sandra could live with me for about maybe three weeks. We could set them up someplace here in the cottage. Maybe they could sleep on the, the sofa, the pull out sofa, but they could stay and they could tell me all about what brushes to use, not use my painting brushes. They could show me how to do my makeup. Maybe they even would do my makeup. That would be fun. I would also say perhaps a live-in handyman, a driver to take us all around so we wouldn't have to do the windshields every time I get in the car. How about a cook, full-time cook? Could live in here somewhere. Maybe we could set up a little tent outside for them. Um, what else? 
maybe I would like a podiatrist to live in, take care of our aging piggy toes. You know, if you're old, you know what I mean by that. And what else would I need? I don't have kids, so I don't need a babysitter. I don't have kids anymore. I wish they were all here, all these 20 grandkids and 10 great grandkids. I wish there was no COVID. However, I'm realistic. An old boyfriend once said about me, Mary Ellen, you have your head in the clouds, but your feet are always on the ground. And you know what? That is me. I always know what reality is. I can handle it, all the problems of life. But sometimes I love to dream. And a lot of times when you work on your dreams and you set them up, they happen. Martha Stewart has her gardener, her housekeeper, her cook and her driver all live with her during this COVID. They take care of everything. If Martha could do it, why couldn't I? Oh well. As a postscript to the business about Moosey and I being buttless, the reason that my daughters said, why did you marry a man without a butt? was because of genetics. When two flap up people get together, there are no bubble butts coming out of that union. And our six kids, although extremely attractive, face, figure, etc., we just don't have those bubble butts. So that's all I want to say. So if you liked our video and you think you can um, get some value out of some of the things that we use to, to make our getting older life more livable and happy. We're always happy no matter what. Life, life can't always be great, but you have to be optimistic about it. So we love you. Please subscribe and share. Share this with your friends. Help us to grow. And we love you all. Take good care of yourselves during this COVID. Our children are making sure we stay in. So that's why we're doing all these hobbies around the house. Except for our wonderful adventure. It's six weeks in Idaho, a little town of 600 people. And it got us away from the the LA metropolis of COVID at that time during May and June. So bye-bye for now. Please come back for our next video. Right now, I haven't got a clue what it's gonna be about, but I hope it'll be enjoyable. Love you all. Bye-bye.